and good morning uh, is I um, I woke up at four o'clock is about 10 minutes after four o'clock so every day I wake up at four o'clock to solve a physics problem for my student um, I have thousands of students uh, here in New York City some of them are physics students some of them are chemistry students some of them are math students and some of them are computer science students today I'm gonna solve a physics problem for my physics student uh, is um, it's a very complicated problem uh, two boxes hanging on a door and the uh, and the boxes one boxes uh, one box is sitting on an incline so two box hanging on a pulley is already a difficult problem but if one of the box is sitting on an incline that's uh, that, that 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 even becomes more um, more difficult to so so let me solve the problem for you guys so let's first draw an incline Uh, let let put the box on an incline and let um, call the mass of the box is 30 100 kilogram and call it mass 1 and mass 1 is 30 100 kilogram mass 1 is 30 100 kilogram let's draw a pulley Let's attach a rope with the box one. And let's draw another box hanging on the pulley. And let's call it mass two. And mass two is uh, 1000 kilogram. Okay. Let's say the friction is 0.1. Friction is 0.1. Friction is mu k. Mu k is 0.1. All right. And let's say you want to find the acceleration. And let's say the rope has almost no mass. The rope that two boxes are attached to has no mass okay we want to find the acceleration uh, this kind of a difficult problem especially for my student for my physics student all right so let's first draw the force diagram uh, keep that in mind we have to use Newton's second law uh, but before we use Newton's second law we have to uh, we have to draw the force diagram so let's draw the force diagram I'm going to use a uh, different color. I'm going to remove the mass one and I'm going to write, I'm going to draw a force diagram. We're going to call it FG, meaning the force due to the gravity, which is MG. M is Three one zero zero, and G is nine point eight. Nine point eight is the acceleration due to gravity. So let's take my calculator and let's find out what is it. Three one zero zero times nine point eight is three zero. 380 uh, Newton known as that the box one is sitting on an incline that means the box one the 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 gravitational force on box one has two component when you are sitting on an inclined plane then the 
द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन यू डिवाइड इन टू पार्ट सो दैट्स व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू ड्रॉ नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू कॉल इट एफ जी परपेंडिकुलर दिस इज द परपेंडिकुलर कंपोनेंट ऑफ द ग्रेविटी this is the normal the perpendicular and normal are the same but in opposite direction now i'm going to draw the another one this is the parallel component of gravity and this is friction this i'll draw uh, i'll use a separate color this is ft the force acting on the rope the force acting on the string only gravitational force acting on this box and gravitational force has only one component here because this one is not sitting on an incline and of course this one has a tension the rope has a tension now my goal is to cancel this ft with this ft but i cannot just cancel it if i cancel it like that then that would be illegal things to do so i have to um I have to fast use Newton Newtonian mechanics and find a way to cancel it. So let's do that. Before we do that, we have to find the both component of the gravitational force. Okay? Both component of the gravitational force are F G has two component as i said <laughs> fg parallel and fg perpendicular fg parallel is f g cosine and let's say this is 30 degree this is 30 degree incline so fg don't forget that people you, you always make this mistake my student always make this mistake this has to be sine this has to be sine i wake up four in the morning to help a student out and uh, all the teacher out there please do the same thing i don't know how can you be a professor and is still sleeping at 4 in the morning when you student are suffering don't understand things and if you are a student then you have bigger things to do how can you be sleeping at 4 when you have many more physics problem to do many more math problems to solve many more chemistry problem to solve or many more computer science problem to solve so sleeping is wasting time keep that in mind solving is more productive than uh, sleeping let's get back to physics so fg what is our fg fg is 30380 times sin 30 degree this one is fg cosin 30 degree which is 30380 times cosin 30 degree now i'm going to take my calculator and punch it in let's see what is it times sin 30 this would be 1 5190 newton this would be 
times t zero three t zero two six three zero nine Newton. All right. So what are you gonna do? We're gonna find the force of friction. We're now gonna find force of friction. So let's find force of friction. Force of friction is normal force times mu k. Normal force, as I told you that, normal force and uh, the perpendicular component of gravity are the same. So perpendicular component of the gravity is this guy. All right. So 26309 times 0.1 is 26309.9. Times point one, which is two six three zero point nine, two six three zero point nine eight newton. All right. Now, what are you gonna do with that? We're gonna have to do this. Uh, I think we can do it here. I'm gonna put mass one on the right side and mass two on the left side. I'm gonna do mass one on the left side and mass two on the right side. All right. I'm gonna draw this guy over here again. So let's draw this guy. This guy is sitting on an incline, remember that. So then what is this? Fg parallel, parallel component of the gravity. Now, remember one thing. If I somehow take a scissor and cut the string, this would be accelerating faster this way. But I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna put it Ft. Wait a minute, there is other force acting. Slowing it down, there is other force slowing it down and that is force of friction. So how many forces you see? This one wanna takes it this way, and this one slowing it down, this two. So Newton's second law. Newton's second law is F equal to ma. Don't forget to put a sigma here. Mean all the forces. What direction? At uh, this di direction. Okay, so all the forces at this direction is what? Fg parallel minus why minus because because this if you remove this two then this would move if you remove this two force of friction and change in force then this will accelerate faster and faster that's why this two slowing it down that's why you put minus ff minus ft is equal to m M, by the way, we know M. M is 3100. Okay. We, of course, know parallel component of the gravity. Parallel component of the gravity is 15. Uh, my, um, my clock is keep alarming, thinking that I'm too lazy to wake up 4 in the morning. I don't need um, uh, my clock to wake me up. Uh, I wake up 4 in the morning because I... I need to help out uh, all the physics student uh, who need help. So one five one nine zero. I in fact woke up at three fifty three fifty a.m. a little before four a.m. Uh, FF. We already know FF. What is our FF? Our FF is force of friction. Two six three zero point nine eight minus FT. Is equal to 31008. <laughs> Let's find that out. Two, two, five, five, nine, 
minus Ft is equal to 3100 times acceleration. All right, so now we're going to box it. We found one of the equation. Now we have to find another equation using this one now. And this one pretty easy. It's because the box has only two force acting on it. Fg and Ft. So you're going to write Ft. Uh, of course, before you do that, you're going to write Newton's second law. What component of the Newton's second law? Y. Y direction of Newton's second law. At y direction, how many forces acting? Two forces. Ft minus Fg is equal to m. Wait a minute, we know m. m is 1000. Okay. So what is Ft? We don't know. But we know Fg. So Ft minus Fg is how much? Oh, we did not find mg, fg, so let's find it, mg, so m is how much, 1000, for this guy, times 9.8, so is equal to what, 9800 newton, so 9800 newton is equal to 1000 acceleration, now we are ready to solve the problem, we're going to box it, now this one and this one, we put it underneath each other and cancel Ft. So physics problem, uh, so beautiful that it makes your life uh, more meaningful. So keep wake up for in the morning to solve at least a five physics problem. Make your life more and more meaningful creating uh, creating um, a paved the way you are paving the way to create a better world by doing so okay <coughs> all right let's do write this one two two five five nine two two five five nine minus ft is equal to three one zero zero a three one zero zero a and then what do you want to write? This one, Ft, this Ft, minus, so I'm going to move this Ft, I'm going to re rewrite this statement. Negative 9800 Newton, of course, and then I'm going to write positive Ft is equal to 1000A. So I'm going to first write this number, negative 9800 then positive Ft is equal to 1000A. Notice this one, this one cancel. And our goal was to cancel this one and this one. Now we finally cancel them. We found a way using Newtonian mechanics to cancel them. Now all of a sudden, to solving this problem is easy. Two two five five nine minus 9800 is equal to 12759. 12759. 12759 is equal to 0, 0, 1, 4, A. So A must be 4100 on the bottom. 12759 on the top. Okay, so let's see what is A. Divide by 4100 is equal to 3.11. 3.11 meter per second squared. So this one is accelerating down this way about 3 meter per second every second. Okay, so thank you for, uh, for watching. Um, as I said, I'm going to wake up every day at 4 a.m. to solve a physics problem. Uh, why 4 a.m.? To create an example that 
student you need to wake up early in the morning to solve a problem to uh, to to fall in love with math and science and teacher if you are a teacher then you have to do the same thing to help our student to inspire them to fall in love with math and science thank you for watching